Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now the thing of it is, motorcycle dash cams have become a vital part of motorcycling today. And the reason why is because it will catch you if you have any accidents, any problems, the actual footage that you'd need to prove it's not your fault. Not just that, we use them in our daily rides to capture that riding to and from and anything that you think could be fun or important to watch back. But the thing of it is, but the thing of it is, is that most dash cams is a box that goes underneath your seat that means that you can't access all the features just when you want to. Or to get the good quality footage from it means that you have to take your seat off, you have to mess around, you have to get your little SD card out, and it can be just an absolute nightmare. But what if, what if there was a dash cam out there with a screen, what meant you could access all those features, but not just that, you could see the person behind you. You could see if your biker mate is in your blind spot there, or you could see the car that's coming really close to you thinking, oh, that's a little bit close. You could capture absolutely everything and it's all at your fingertips. Well, the thing of it is, now there is a brand that offered just that because Mercelin have sent me their M1502 dash cam that's got all of that and so much more to give it an 11 out of 10 review. So let's get on with it. <music> So let's start with the grey unboxing. The packaging feels of good quality and well printed. On opening up the box, the first thing you'll see is your user manual. This comes well printed, including a full detailed instructions for installation and user guide. There is also a QR code that you can quickly scan and download the app. After taking the cover off the box, the first thing that you see is your Massillian M1502 3 inch dash screen. This feels extremely rugged and strong in your hand. The buttons look good as well as it's waterproof rated up to IP68 so you've got no problems with any water issues. Next is this controller with three nice big buttons. One is power on, one is SOS and the other is to take a photo. It comes with two good quality aluminium cameras that are 1080p heat and cold resistant, one with a shorter cable for the front and the rear comes with plenty of cable to reach right to the back of any bike. Likewise with the power cable that is provided. Next up is the dash cam handlebar mount. This feels nice, good and solid in your hand. It also comes with a selection of different thicknesses so you can get the perfect fit for your bars. It also comes with a selection of metal plates that means that if you wanted to attach it say to your mirrors you're able to do that as well or another part of your bike. You also get this zip style mount to attach your remote control to your handlebars. And last you get some zip ties and a mini screwdriver for installation. With everything out of the box it's time to move on to the install. Now I'd always recommend getting a professional to install any electrical system on a motorcycle but with that said this is really super easy and quick to install. First things first locate where your battery is. Now to protect your battery and make it absolutely super easy to install I'd always recommend a thunder box because what this will do it will regulate the power and it won't take power if your battery goes under a certain amount and when the bike's running it will then power up. This is super easy to install just by connecting your negative wire and your positive wire and then when you start the engine of your bike and gets to the correct voltage the box will power up. This will save you a lot of hassle later in regards to finding an ignition feed. Now take your power cable that's provided with the dash cam. I cut off the connectors and strip back the wires. Red is for positive, black is for negative and yellow is for your ignition feed. I simply then put the ignition feed and the positive wire together inside the connector of the thunder box. I then take the negative cable that's your earth cable and connect that into the connector for the negative side of the thunder box. Then we run our power cable to where we'd like to locate the dash cam at the handlebars. Now we mount our dash cam, it's really simple, three screws in the back. Select which rubber fits your handlebars, then it is literally one bolt tighten and your dash cam will be nice and secure on your handlebars. Next, select where you'd like to attach your dash cams. On the front, we've unpeeled the sticky pad and stuck this into place and then we've used a bolt to secure it as well. It does come with two small screws if you wanted to screw it into your plastic 
as well as attaching it. On the rear, what we've decided to do is attach it to the rear rack using the zip ties provided. Then run the camera cables, the length of your bike, to the back of the control unit where you can easily push and screw for a good secure electrical fit. With everything connected and your wires nicely hid away, that is your installation complete. That now brings us on to the real world test and I was surprised how quickly when I started the engine that the M1502 switches on, giving you this instant screen view of the front camera and the small square is the rear camera that is absolutely handy for when you're trying to reverse out of a space to know that you're nice and clear for your blind spots. Now the footage that you're seeing is the raw footage taken straight from the SD card. And that is right, an SD card is provided with the camera that's 32 gigabyte. As you can see, you've got this nice crisp clear image from the back and the front camera that means that you can pick up all of the number plates and all of the detail to know that if you have any issues whatsoever, you're gonna capture all that vital information. Now there's lots of different settings for this, but I've plugged this straight in for its road test and the information you get as a plug and play is a compass on the right hand side of the screen. Plus you've got your GPS coordinates and your date and time along the bottom. You've got that rear camera that's that small box on the left and the main picture is the forward dash cam. Now with the Bluetooth wireless remote control, that is super handy with the features on it. So for instance, if you wanna take a picture of something that you've seen at the side of the road, you can quickly press that button and it will save a photo in a separate folder. Then you've got your SOS button. If you press that, it will lock that video folder, again, in a separate folder that won't be deleted. And you can easily turn off your dash cam by pressing the power button so if you want to turn it off for any reason you can just hold down that button and it will power down another great feature after about three minutes the screen will turn off that means it's not distracting you at all but the dash cam is still collecting all of the footage the entire time but the m1502 dash cam gives you lots and lots of choice because there are so many settings. So if you prefer to have the screen running the entire time and never turning off, you can change that in the settings. Likewise, you can set the time and the date and you can decide what you want displayed on the screen. It is full of so many options. The buttons, as you can see, are super easy to press, even with gloves on as well. But if you prefer, you can use the app to change the settings as well, including being able to watch back the footage via the app, but you can do all that on the screen as well. I found everything ran extremely smoothly with its high performance processor. At no point was it glitchy or slow, it continued to run nice and smoothly. Something that I really liked was being able to change the screen just to the rear camera, almost using it like a wind mirror in a car. Giving me that really good access to the rear view, that means it's like the blind spot that you can't see. So anything you've got approaching you, or if you've got a riding buddy with you, you want to make sure that they're behind you, it is just literally a quick glance and you know that they're there. Now the dash cam comes with so many smart features. Because it's got a GPS plus BSD dual mode, it picks up exactly where you are. So via the app, you can go back and you can re-watch your journey to know exactly which place something happened. Also including automatic loop recording. That means that it records in one minute slots, front and back cameras. So you can go exactly to the minute, easily finding the footage that you're looking for. So with the dash cam being so well made and of course waterproof, it will also run at high and low temperatures of up to minus 20 or plus 65 degrees. Now the cost of this awesome dash cam is less than 240 pounds that I think is amazing value for money because it's packed with all of those features. And all you need to do to get one is pop down into the description, click on the link, and it will take you directly there where you can order yours today. Everything that you need is down there in the description. So I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, leave it a small comment because it really helps this channel grow. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure. Bye bye for now.